And she gives it another go. Another deep serve. This one received cleanly by Linton HMB. And Morgan Holzer, a clean attempt, but Shania Gross, another beautiful dig. It allows Napoleon to play it back over. Gerving this time for Rachel Lumber, tapping it. Christofferson's there. Schwarzenberger for JC Dewall. Long way to kill it. Imperials with six straight. And that is just out of bounds. That's how the run will come to an end. Tonight's broadcast brought to you by Beck Communications and DRN. For those of you joining us from any of the co-ops that service Beck Sports or the web as well, streaming online at BeckSports.com, Linton HMB, two straight here. We thank you all for joining us. As the Lions on serve with Rachel Lumber, who's played a key role early on in this one. Schwarzenberger, good timing off the net, but then shoved out of bounds. And we're seeing it, John. We're seeing really good play from Napoleon, but then they make a few errors. And that's why it's been hard for them to sustain runs. They had the one run. They need more than that with the hole they dug themselves early. A hit there from J.C. Dewald. She gets it back and touches it down. Gerving, time to set. Down the line, kill attempt from Ali Vetter. Now Schmidt. Cross court, good job by Nicole Nusma who hit the deck. Morgan Holzer, Maya Young got the initial dig and then bumped over by Napoleon. Holzer shoving to Maya Young. JC Schmidt off the tape and down to the wood. Two key digs by Maya Young on that one. And Young was a girl who didn't play her best in that District 6 championship, but I was extremely impressed with her play in the semifinals on Tuesday. And a big point there for the senior. J.C. Schmidt is blocked back. There's Christofferson to bail her out. Schmidt going around the blocks this time. Gerving now for Holzer. Maya Young's there to dig. And now from the back row, it's Gross. Jaden Geffro. Now Kate Long of Napoleon, whistle, point, Napoleon. 16 to 12. The lead was as much as nine, it's now four. Garving sets for Ali Vetter. And Maya Young opts to play it over to Linton HMB. Geffro just has to punch at it with her left hand. Bumped into the air by Kate Long for Shania Gross, the libero from the back row. Now it's Morgan Holzer, tipped by Long, but it hits the floor. Think about Linton HMB, John, you're always gonna have two quality hitters at least in the front row. Gerving's the setter, of course, but then it's very likely you'll have an all-district outside hitter to set two, here's one of them, Jaden Geffro, though defended by Shania Gross. And I think Napoleon's got a good defense for that situation. I mean, the more hitters there are, the harder it is as a defense, but especially for blocking defenses. But Napoleon's bread and butter on defense is in the back row. So there are, is time for those players to react. Case in point there is Shania Gross kept it alive and seemed like the girls on the floor were waiting for a whistle and it finally came and it was the right call. Four hits called against Napoleon Gackle Schreeder. So 18 to 12 the score. And an up the line serve from Ali Vetter. And it's Kate Long standing flat footed, Gerving dump attempt and it's a kill for Tiff. Yes, she can assist her teammates, but she can also put the ball away when she needs to. And Morgan Schwarzenberger calls timeout for the Imperials. Team down by seven. 19 to 12, Linton HMB seven point lead and their fans are pumped up. And Linton HMB fans have been treated to winning program, not only in volleyball, but basketball, football, you name it. And the Lions are successful. Yeah, they've gotten really good at coordinated cheers because they're always in these postseason games. 
Good point. Four straight state tournament appearances for Linton HMB. That streak was snapped last year. They're looking to get back. And Napoleon looking to get back in this set. And they cut it to a six point lead. It's Kelly Schwarzenberger who will serve. And Schwarzenberger leading the tournament in assists. She's been a really key part of this Imperial squad. Regner just getting it over. And that is a fortunate bounce for the Imperials and they cut it to a five point set. I know she's good, but on that play she was more lucky than good. That's not how she wanted to hit the ball, but it hit the tape and then got around the one defender who was expecting a better hit. That out of bounds. So the first team to 20 here in set number one, which by the way is brought to you by Northland Financial, is Linton HMB. Good decision in the back row by J.C. Schmidt. The all-district player will be rewarded with a serve. Five points separating the squads. It's Noosma cross court, but dug right back over to Linton HMB. Now Geffro out of bounds. The up official was pointing initially to Linton and then obviously overruled by the down judge Steve Deltzer for Napoleon Gackle Streeter. And I think Maureen knew the right call. It's just one of those things where your brain doesn't do what your arms tell you to do and you react instantly. That ball was clearly out of bounds. Weigel and Long combining for the block. It's only a three point set and Jamie Richter calls timeout. A lot of experienced players on both of these teams. There's an experienced coach. But look at all the talent on Napoleon and Linton HMB who could be playing in their last match. J.C. Schmidt, all district. Shania Gross, we talk so much about her. All district. Maya Young's played a part. Schwarzenberger, of course, has played a part. Brittany Regner and Shayna Weigel have both done their jobs as well. Linton HMB, four all district seniors. Ali Vetter. Certainly could be as well. Gervin, Geffro, Vetter, Nusma, Holzer. So much talent will be lost to graduation for both squads. And many people, including the two coaches that I talked to from the third place game prior, said these young ladies, these seniors, are the reason these two teams are here. They're not necessarily more talented teams, but they're more experienced teams. And that is what carried them in some very tight matches in the semifinal round here to the championship. Napoleon has made it tighter here in set number one. Dug themselves into an early hole, but they're starting to dig themselves out of it. It's Jaden Geffro going up the line. They haven't quit, and that's been the key for Napoleon. And Weigel getting a kill there. It's 20 to 18. Napoleon Gackle Schreeder, one and two on our airwaves. Their win, of course, coming in the semifinal round against Lemoore. Linton HMB getting one back. Nicole Nusma. And here comes the serving specialist, Jenna Bernhardt. Deep serve, out of bounds. 21-19. You mentioned the experience for Napoleon. They got a ton back from last year's team. Mariah Jangula was really their only loss. And she was hurt at the end of the year. And the Imperials within one. Just been chipping away. They had one big run in the early going. Since then, it's kind of been two or three for every one that Linton gets. So it's taken a long time, but they have caught up. Carrying over that momentum from the win against Lamore. Nunusma off the blocks. Regner up in the air for Shayna Weigel, and that is still in play. Well done by the Lions. Dewald, no dice. Some Napoleon fans asking for a tip. They do not get it. So Linton up by two. And the All-Stater tip Gerving on serve. Shania Gross to the ground to dig. Weigel flat-footed. Plays over to Linton. Now Nusma shoving with two hands, getting the kill for the Lions. 
And here in this championship match, we have full-time officials. So what would normally be an up-and-down official, they're now working the corners. It's the two guys that we had officiating the third-place matchup moved to the corners. Redner going all the way in front of her coach, Schwarzenberger, to dig that one up, and the Imperials do well to get it over. And so does Dewald to stay with it after she was blocked. And Shayna Weigel over, now Gerving on the other side, tapped over by Rachel Umber. And Umber gives the Lions set point here in the first. Noosma shoving deep. And Weigel with the swing. Whistle, point to Napoleon. They're still alive here in the first. Gotta be perfect to keep going. Need three more at least. Gerving feeding Noosma. Gross another dig and now she hits from the back row. Gerving finding Umber. Schmidt hit the ground, and Napoleon plays it over. And it's Nusma again, and this time Nusma ends the first 25 to 21. We go to the second set. Lions leading one to nothing. <laughs> 